Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about the structures passing through the greater sciatic foramen as well as the lesser sciatic foramen. So just beginning with the introduction, this is the hip bone. We have the femur, we have the sacrum and the coccyx. And then we have two important gluteal ligaments, right? Which are the sacrotuberous ligament as well as the sacrospinous ligament. So this is the sacrotuberous ligament attaching from the sides of the sacrum and the coccyx to the ischial tuberosity. Then we have the sacrospinous ligament which attaches from the sides of the sacrum and the coccyx to the ischial spine. So the, basically these two ligaments will divide the greater sciatic notch and the lesser sciatic notch into greater sciatic foramen as well as the lesser sciatic foramen. Now we will discuss about the structures passing through the greater sciatic foramen. We are going to go into detail and understand it better. So what happens? The structures passing through the greater sciatic foramen. Firstly, we will begin with the small muscle which is known as the piriformis. Piriformis is a part of the muscle. So the piriformis is actually emerges from the pelvis and almost completely fills this foramen. The greater sciatic foramen almost completely fills it. So it is also called as the key muscle of the greater sciatic foramen. And what are the structures passing below the piriformis? Below the piriformis, the passing are number A, we have the nerve to obturator internus. Nerve to obturator internus. Then we have we also have the internal pudendal vessels as well as pudendal nerve. We have the pudendal nerve as well as the internal pudendal vessels. internal pudendal vessels as well as the pudendal nerve. We also have the nerve to quadratus femoris, the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh as well as the sciatic nerve. What do we have? We have the nerve to nerve to quadratus femoris as well as we also have posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh, posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. We also have the sciatic nerve as well as the inferior gluteal nerve and the vessels. We also have the sciatic nerve as well as the inferior gluteal nerve as well as the inferior gluteal vessels as well. So what are the structures passing through the greater sciatic foramen? We have the key muscle that is the piriformis which uh, arises from the pelvis and passes through this foramen and below the piriformis we have the nerve to obturator internus, the pudendal nerve, the internal pudendal vessels. We also have the nerve to quadratus femoris, the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh, the sciatic nerve as well as the inferior gluteal nerve as well as the inferior gluteal vessels. So these are the structures that are passing through the greater sciatic foramen. Now we will discuss about the structures passing through the lesser sciatic foramen. So if you are new here make sure to subscribe and stick to the video till the end so that you will learn more about the anatomy. Alright, so now discussing about the structures passing through the lesser sciatic foramen. So what are the structures passing through the lesser sciatic foramen? So the structures passing through the lesser sciatic foramen are number one we have the tendon of obturator internus. We have the tendon of obturator internus. And then we have the nerve to obturator internus. Nerve to obturator internus. We also have internal pudendal vessels as well as the pudendal nerve. Internal pudendal vessels as well as pudendal nerve also passes through the lesser sciatic foramen. Pudendal nerve. So these are the key structures that are passing through the lesser sciatic foramen. We have the tendon of the obturator internus, nerve to obturator internus, we have the inter internal pudendal vessels as well as the pudendal nerve. So basically this video was about structures passing through the greater sciatic foramen as well as the lesser sciatic foramen. So thank you guys, thank you for watching video till the end. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and if you are new here, please make sure that you share it to your other friends who want to learn more about the anatomy. Thank you so much.